What's up guys? Just want to do another video lesson. Awesome day today. Uh, had a few good calls. First off, let's talk about WYY. This was a stock that was breaking out to brand new highs here today. Uh, basically breaching this uh, kind of triangle pattern here and going on all time highs after this huge trend. As you can see, it's been riding the 13 EMA this whole time since about uh, early to mid November. So the trend has been very, very bullish. And then we start gapping open here again. Uh, this morning, uh, bouncing off this 13 EMA, had nice volume. If we look here, uh, what I bought into this morning was a great looking F1 pattern breakout. So this first initially got that first initial run up on volume. Uh, nice volume on the buy side, you can see almost 200,000 share spike there, uh, just on the one minute intraday chart here. And then we peaked at 180 and I actually got long here. Uh, I can't remember how many shares I got of this, maybe like 7,000 or something. Uh, I can't remember what it was, uh, my exact share count. Uh, but basically, you know, it's a great looking F1 pattern. As always, the F1 pattern is that first initial spike up on volume, followed by, uh, you know, some sort of consolidation uh, where that once that high of that day breaks out uh, on that triangle pattern, uh, usually it consolidates in between whatever the high is and the 13 EMA. So this is the one minute chart. As you can see, you can see the uh, triangle formation forming up there and the 180 was the actual trigger there. Next whole number resistance here is $2 per share. So that could be the short term target. Um, you know, looking at the Dow today, we are actually down pretty significantly out of the gates this morning, about 50 points down uh, on Dow futures. So I was a little hesitant on buying and holding anything today. So uh, I actually got stopped out of this at 185. I ended up making uh, $444, so a very quick gain. Uh, and, but you know that's what you can do with these F1s. You know, even if you're that's all you, all the time you have in the day is just the first hour or two. You know, you can trade F1s in and out very quickly. There's you know plenty of them every morning. Uh, you know, sometimes there's more than others. Also, you know, you got to be more uh, uh, you know prone to taking your profits very quickly on days where the market is down. Uh, but WYY actually did recover here after this sell-off. It did uh, rip up here to 187, uh, and I was continuing to hold. I saw that I uh, stopped at at 185 once this uh, started to kind of break down here again uh, in the market. We did hit the high of about 187 here, uh, but that trigger was at 180. It got a little shaky. I continued to hold because you know a stock like this that's very very uh, close to two dollars per share. Uh, tends to kind of pull itself uh, to that mark. Unfortunately, things got a little too volatile and I stopped out. Uh, but, you know, looking in here, this actually did break it at F3 into the breakout uh, or into the close of the day uh, that I called out in here in chat uh, on the uh, radar alert. So perfect looking F3 here. Uh, this could easily gap open and run to $2 tomorrow. As you can see, this broke the F3 right here at 187. Uh, so that's just like the pattern doesn't get much more perfect than that as an F3. I didn't buy back into it. I was, you know, a couple pennies too late and I just uh, kind of hesitated on buying back in. Uh, but we are gapping open here a couple pennies to 192. I wouldn't be surprised at all if this gaps open and runs to $2 uh, per share tomorrow. As always, an F3 into the close with the breakout tends to lead to a gap uh, and has momentum going into the following session. So I made a quick, you know, $444 here. Uh, initially buying in on that F1. As you can see, you know, there was that nice quick spike in the morning. Then the middle of the session, you know, I usually walk away from the market because all this, you know, rubbish that goes on here is just a bunch of bullshit that, you know, doesn't really signify anything. Uh, so I try to ignore the mid uh, trading sessions because there's really nothing going on. I like to buy either at the open on an F1 or potentially on an F3 into the close. So, you know, that was the indication to buy here at 180 on the F1. Now there's another indication to buy on the uh, 187 F clo F3 close uh, for a potential gap open to two. Another one was GTXI. <clears throat> this was another F1 that I bought into, bought into very, very quickly uh, this morning. This was, you know, breaking out of this flag here right out of the gates this morning. Let me get rid of all these drawings, make it a little clear. What I'm looking at, <clears throat> we have this bullish flag here formed up on GTXI. You can see, uh, you know, just this kind of a triangle uh, pennant formation uh, <clears throat> formed up here on GTXI. Also, if you look at the longer term chart, you know, there's that $2 resistance level, a breakout over this neckline round two uh, can definitely signify a move forward. Uh, so right out of the gates, you know, at $2 per share, I was definitely, uh, you know, tempted to buy into this. So I bought into this very, very quickly. It was a very, very short-term F1 breakout here. 
So moving forward, here's the uh, initial open here. So we spiked up to 203. This is just two minutes already going through. Uh, so very, very short term. Uh, then on, I think, the third minute or fourth minute is when we triggered. So right here, I got in at uh, 204 uh, along some shares that are right on the F3 that triggered at 203. So, you know, not much of a formation there, but it is an F1. It uh, gapped open with volume made a high of the day right there and then kind of broke out of this mini flag pattern and I got long at 204 right here. From there, it kind of did the same exact thing as uh, WYY, it was very choppy. You know, it was looking very good here for a while. We were up to 215, so up, you know, over 10 cents uh, on my position, but then things got a little shaky, but we actually had another uh, run here, which was an F3 breakout that I called out here at 210 here on the radar and chat. I didn't take that secondary position though. Uh, and from there, it actually came back down and closed at about 2.13. So another pretty choppy day, but you know, multiple opp opportunities to make money on this trade. Uh, I got out of it for a uh, $530 gain. So let me look at my uh, trade confirmations here. I sold at 2.12, so I got stopped out of here when this started breaking down the 13 EMA right about here on that morning flag. So, you know, there's a lot of action that happens in the mid-session where I can easily get stopped out, even if I'm trying to swing uh, and I'm hesitant to hold and I just, you know, play that perfect little F1 right out of the gates. I t take my profit, you know, I could be done for the day uh, and then, you know, potentially come back into the later session and, you know, could have bought this. I alerted this perfectly at about 2.10. Again, in chat as a radar, uh, but I did not go long, and then from there it ripped, you know, 13 cents at the 223. So it could have been, a, you know, a nice little day trade scalp, uh, and can even, you know, run uh, continuously. You know, the daily chart is a, definitely a bullish boost four breakout here. So there's definitely more upside uh, on a potential swing here. Coming to the last trade here, uh, NLST, which was a huge rip here. You know, I even bought in late. I was tempted to buy about 25,000 shares here, but I only went in for 10,000 because I was even pretty late on the uh, trade. You know, the first two initial buy spikes were right out of the gates here at about 94 cents. Actually, about 91 cents if we go all the way back here. Uh, you know, so a very sketchy uh, kind of a F1 here. We had, you know, a pretty big volume spikes here of about 100,000 100, shares, a couple 50,000 share spikes. Uh, but that's an F1, you know, over the 95 cent level there. So moving forward, it did trigger again for the F1 right there at about 95. And then it's kind of traded flat here again until Diesel actually pointed this out in chat when we were at about a uh, dollar per share here. So as soon as this spiked here over a dollar, right around here was when I saw it. Uh, when we were up at a dollar at that point, you know, it was going from, what was yesterday's close? Yesterday's close was at 87. So at this point, you know, it was already up about 15%. So I was definitely, you know, extremely hesitant to buy in uh, heavily. But that move over a dollar, as always, you know, this is a pretty bullish uh, chart pattern here. If we look at the long term chart uh, over a dollar, so it's a potential gold pattern here. And it is a gold pattern that actually did break out here. But, uh, you know, it wasn't a perfectly clear break over one. As you can see, it's, you know, spiked over a one a couple times back in the past here, uh, but failed both times. So I was a little hesitant, you know, I still got long 10,000 shares at 101, and from here we just absolutely exploded. And then uh, <clears throat> the press release finally came out, or I noticed it right at about 115 or so, uh, and I actually sold half, I sold uh, 5,000 shares at 114, and then we closed at about 130. And now after hours, we have continued to ramp all the way up here, and we're sitting at about 149 here on the bid. We did hit a high of about 159. So I'm currently up, uh, I locked in $650 in that first half, uh, selling very, very early at 114, and now I'm up about $2,400 on that second position. Second position. So I'm up over three grand uh, on this play uh, so far. And you know we made that money in just minutes, right when that first trigger of 101, this thing just ramped all the way up to about 130s to close uh, at around the 130 level. So huge play uh, here on NLST for us into the close. It's gapping open in tomorrow. Uh, you know, <clears throat> gold patterns, you know, typically they make a run to $2 per share. So it's definitely possible. Will that happen? Who who freaking knows? I don't, uh, you know, I usually just identify patterns and sell them way too freaking early and then watch this thing run to like $3 per share or something. Uh, but, you know, trading is not about making the perfect trade. It's about identifying the right patterns. And at least if you can get a piece of that pie, you know, you're doing it right. You're never going to make the perfect trade. I have zero clue what this stock is going to do. Uh, you know, I could potentially hold this 5,000 shares 
and I swing it all the way up to two dollars per share, or I could hold this five thousand shares and this thing drops to a dollar dollar tomorrow, and I lose all that gain that I had. So you really never know uh, what a stock's going to do. It's just you know kind of uh, you just kind of got to play it by ear uh, and uh, trade it to the best you can, uh, best of your abilities. But anyways, uh, it was a great session, especially to have this rip into the close for us, uh, and we were able to capitalize on that trade perfectly from one hundred and one, basically a fifty percent run now uh, right into the close and I bought this with about uh, 20 minutes left in the stock market uh, today but anyways that's it for today awesome gains uh, for all of us uh, lots of you guys in chat were able to catch uh, NLST as well as uh, WYY and GTXI plus others uh, but anyways I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning